So here's a quick video on how to find the last login date of a SQL Server login or a Windows login. Perhaps maybe you don't have a monitoring tool set up, you don't have auditing set up, your manager came up from behind you and was like, I need to know when Billy Bob Thornton last logged into the SQL Server or whatever. Uh, the easiest way is to create the exec DM sessions DMV. So I have a setup here, right? Uh, if you see right here, we're going to do a select. We're going to bring back the, the login name and the login time. Okay. So as you can see here, I'm logged in with my Windows account and it brings back the last time that I logged in or the most recent time, right? So if you are in a situation where you want to find out maybe there's some uh, performance issues going on you want to find out what session you know who's logged in what type, is it an app server maybe it's an app server that's logged in and causing some issues whatever it is you want to find out the host name uh, with the with the login name just query the host name column bring that back select that as well and now you bring back the host name so that can kind of further fine-tune and narrow down your uh, troubleshooting so that helps with that um, now one thing if you are not familiar with DMVs is that it holds a current state right or an active state of the SQL Server so that means that if you restart the SQL service let's say you're doing patching or whatever and you have to reboot the server or restart SQL service all the <clears throat> information in the DMVs gets wiped out so then it has to collect uh, you know after after it uh, reboots so I want to do a, a quick test to show you that in action so I have a, a SQL Server login I created. I called it user1. Uh, let's go ahead and I think it's 1, 2, 3, 4. Very secure password, 1, 2, 3, 4. We connect, and now you see I have user1 and myself, Mohammed Darab, logged into the SQL Server. So let's just do a quick uh, select from the DMV. And now as you can see here, I have user1 there as well. It brings, brings that back. Now what happens if I disconnect user1 and run the same select query? So let's go ahead and do that. Let's disconnect. So we're simulating a user connecting to the server and then logging off, right, or disconnecting. So we'll, we'll run the uh, select again. And it still shows this user1 as active, right? But it's not really active because it, it logged out, right, disconnected. So it stores the last login date right or login times doesn't necessarily mean that user in this case user one is currently on the SQL server right so to get a more accurate account we will have to restart the SQL service obviously we're not going to do this on production but um, let's go ahead and do that just for the sake of the demo and we're going to stop SQL server and we will start it back up Cool. Now let's go ahead. I just I always love to just kind of refresh and make sure everything is still green. And then we will we'll select. And now it's disappeared. So the restart wipes out. It gives you, uh, again, the active state, right? So the active state is user one is not logged in. So it won't come back with that. Now the question is, uh, how do I keep how do I keep track of uh, logins and logouts like historically? A or number one you can have some type of job that does this select and kind of insert inserts it into a table but that really i mean you're not going to be running that every second right you're not going to be running that every possibly every minute but you know it'd be, it, there there is that gap where between the time you run your jobs you can have user login in and login out and you don't know um or you can get inaccurate uh data my next video is going to show you how to set up sql server native auditing and that has a feature of auditing uh, log successful logins, logouts, and then you can query the audit file, bring it back as like a tabular format, and then you can you know bring back rows and stuff like that. It's very very rich, uh, brings back a lot of data. Next video I'm going to do is I'm going to set that up and show you how to do that. This was just a very quick in, quick out uh, how to uh, query the DM exec sessions. Now, uh, before I, I, I leave you, I wanted to give you a very awesome book. It's an e-book. It's absolutely free. And if you're into educating yourself, which I you know, highly recommend, there's a, a go-to DMV book. And it's in the notes below. I have the download link. Just click it, download the PDF, and just read it. 
wealth of information. It's called uh, Performance Tuning with SQL Server Dynamic Management Views, and it's by Lewis Davidson and Tim Ford. Is again, is below. Download it, check it out, and it's absolutely the go-to book for DMVs. Uh, again, I hope this video helped. The next video will be how to set up um, auditing and how to audit uh, user logins and logouts and stuff like that. So hope that helped and uh, see you in the next video.